Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. I'm AC and today I'm going to walk you through another Winnebago Revel. Uh, I say another one because I did one last week, but this one's a little different. This is a 2021 uh, and it's got a ton of upgrades. This is a used 2021 that is available. So if you're looking for a van and you want to upfit it, this might be the van for you because it's already got it. It's got almost $70,000 in upgrades uh, that the previous customer did to it. So we're going to start up front here. And like I said, this unit is available. So this is stock number 5U220660. If you're interested, give me a call. Um, right up front, we're going to show we've got the, the worn winch here. Again, this was an upgrade. He did quite a bit of stuff to this truck to be able to take it off-roading. And that's where we're going to start. Up top there, you'll see the huge rigid light. That will definitely light up the neighborhood if you want to wake everybody up at night. And you hear some noises, you just turn that on and you'll find out who's outside. Uh, perfect for going up in the mountains. If you're riding around at night, it will light up the, the road for you. You can see up here, these are not your stock Rebel wheels. He also upgraded these. And these tires are gonna be your KO2 tires. And these are 265, 70, 17s. So we work our way back here. You can see we've got the awning opened up. We've got the LED lights. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Frederick, Colorado. I'm going to try more on this video to just really focus on the differences. Uh, there's a ton of Revel videos out there, so I really want to just highlight uh, what's different about this particular unit. You can see back here, there's a lot going on. We're going to have our two storage boxes, our matching spare tire, our trash trash bag. We've got our, our rear ladder here. Up top, you're going to see there's two rigid LED lights up top. There's one behind this uh, satellite, which is the other thing he added. He did add TV and satellite. You've got a cradle point for internet, a uh, ton of upgrades. Um, in this, these boxes here, I'll show you what comes included. So you're going to have your power cord. You're going to have a small gas can in this top compartment. Here you're going to have another gas can and a Honda generator. Again, these are all included in this purchase. Now the Honda generator is nice to have for long trips or if you're going to be off the grid for a while. This is a 2021, so it does have the two lithium batteries. They're 125 amp hours each. So they will run that air conditioner up top off the batteries. Here on this one up scissor uh, bike rack, I'm gonna show a couple things here if you can kind of get close here, Marlon. So this is locked into place. You're gonna unlock it here. And then this will swivel around. That way, while your bikes are on here, you can still get in here to open this back compartment. A couple of things to point out back here. This does have your receiver hitch, seven pin connector. Uh, the hitch is rated for 5,000 pounds. This Yeti cooler is also included in this purchase. And as you can see, this is kind of cool. He actually had a mount put in right below so it'll lock the Yeti in place so it doesn't move around while you're traveling. Up here on this side, you're gonna see your TV. If you're a current Revel owner, you probably don't have a TV. This is kind of neat. You got satellite and TV in this. Now when it's time to close this up, there's a catch back here that you flip down. This will lock into place. There you go. And now it's secured again. 
So again, this is a really nice option if you got bikes, you want to take a lot of toys with you. We also added the side mounted ladder with the kayak racks here. These are really cool in that if you want to haul your kayaks, your paddle boards, you can just strap them in here. Up top, you can see we have a couple of traction mats up there on the right. On this left side, you're going to have your luminous shovel and axe. I'm going to go ahead and climb up here and kind of show you what else is up here. Here we go. So you can see he added this huge luggage rack up here. Get a little better look of the ladder, um, your shovel, your axe, the light bar up front. As you can see with this luggage rack, you can still see the solar panels underneath. So once you unpack and get all your baggage, get all your, your luggage down, you'll still be able to get some sun to those solar panels to help you charge up. Give you a different look of that satellite on the back. There we go. Again, if you're looking for a van and you want all this stuff added, this would save you a lot of money if you bought something like this that already had it on there. Oh, this is locked. Uh, but we do have the five gallon cassette. You're gonna have 21 gallons of fresh water, 21 ga gallons of gray. Down here is your gray tank drain. Back here is your 30 amp service, where you would plug in your 30 amp cord if you're at an RV park or if you're plugged in in your driveway and you want to just plug into a standard outlet, you can buy your adapter. All right, again, this is a silver. This is silver. It's a beautiful color. A lot of extras. The windows are tinted. Kind of point out a couple things inside. Here is your standard flip down table. I'm gonna grab the induction cooktop. The induction cooktop is kept up in the cabinet. I'll show you where that goes, but you can also use it to plug in here and cook outside. You're gonna have your refrigerator. It does have a small freezer. All right, as we come back inside here, one thing I want to point out that's also custom is he, he traveled with this boxer, with this, with this pet. So he had this seat reupholstered in the Mercedes black leather and made this a little longer, extended it out so that his dog would have a little more room up here while they were traveling. Kind of cool. I believe he still has the uh, stock seating so we can get that for you if you're interested in this van. Another really cool feature that he added is he used this overhead storage compartment to add a microwave. All of the upgrades were done here at TransWest. Again, this is where your induction cooktop would go. Have some storage. And of course, a spot for your trash can. And you're gonna have your pantry here. As you can see, this is where he mounted his cradle point and his Wally receiver for the satellite. Really nice, good job of getting everything installed in a nice location and out of the way. Here in the bathroom, Got our two shelves if you want to use it as a closet. Um, you, also, you have your shower curtain, all the extras that came with it. Uh, he also added an additional hose. I'm gonna get out the way so you can see what that TV looks like. 
basically be right at the f your feet when you're laying down. So perfect location to lay down and watch some TV after hiking. I'm gonna lift up this bed to kind of show you a couple things underneath. Show you a little better look of that Yeti cooler. As you can see, the Yeti cooler is locked into place. It basically sits on the rails. Let's move out of the way. Really nice. Doesn't take a lot of space, but it works really well. Just kind of wheel it in there. When you set it down, it just locks in place. Over here, we're gonna have our two lithium batteries. So this is a 21. Uh, they have now gone to a 320 amp hour single battery, but uh, in 21 we were still doing the two Xantrax 125 amp hours. 2000 watt inverter. Of course, under the bed you're going to have your storage little bag here and then the net for additional storage. One additional item that he's got in here is there's a safe. Again, this is also included. You're gonna have your, uh, your owner's manuals and of course inside there, you're gonna have additional outlets, some USB ports and a 12 volt outlet. Here on the main panel, you're gonna have your bed lift. And on the bed lift, you can actually travel with it in any position. Uh, of course, at the top, it's going to give you maximum height for if you're storing bikes or anything else underneath. You can have your light controls, your furnace, and hot water here. Your Xantrax battery disconnect. Your one-place panel here with your water pump on and off. Your tank levels and battery levels. Xantrax controller, and then your solar controller and solar controller uh, disconnect there. So this you would shut off if you're going to be storing it in indoors and you don't want any parasitic draw, you would shut that off. All right, I'll show a couple things up front. Again, there's a ton of videos out there. I just did one last week on the Revel. I just really wanted to kind of showcase this used unit um, and all the upgrades that this thing has. Uh, WeatherTech mats up front. These seats will swivel around as in all the other Revels. Uh, and the same stereo system uh, with Mercedes navigation, uh, Android Auto and CarPlay. Uh, so again, all this stuff is, is standard. If you want to see additional videos on it, you can Google those or look at my video from last week. You can also call, text, or email me if you'd like for me to go into a little more detail on any of these items that he added. Uh, I can get you some additional information, do a FaceTime video, um, or send you some additional pictures. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll see you guys next week. You can call, text, or email. Si hablo español, me pueden hablar al 720-276-4241. Thank you guys, and we'll see you next week.